Hey everyone, we've got another image sent in to us to edit, and this one's sent in by at Kimrose Art. So you guys can go give her a follow down in the description. So come down looking at her feed, you can see that she's not only an awesome photographer, but she's an awesome artist. So you can see there's a real teal and brown look that I really like. These brown and gold tones with a hint of teal in them. So really like this. And if you guys want to check out any of her work, you can come up here and click here and you can come check out some of her amazing art. And a percentage of each purchase goes towards supporting and funding children in Mexico. So definitely come check it out and Let's get into Lightroom and see if we can create something along the lines of this image here. So let's get into it. Okay, so obviously we've got our final edited image here from our Instagram and the unedited version of the image. So first thing, I'm just gonna brighten it up a tad, contrast down a little, uh, highlights, uh, leave there. Shadows I'm gonna bring up. but you can see her blacks are very dark. So if you look up the top here or the door handle, you can see those areas are very, very dark. So I'm gonna bring down the blacks a lot. And the whites are looking pretty bright here. So the whites coming up. Clarity, I'm gonna bring down a tad Quite a bit actually because it's quite a nice soft image and saturation down a little so i'm going to move on to tone curve and there's a bit of fade in the blacks if you zoom in we can see there's just a flatness in those shadows so bringing up the fade And I think that's about right. So there's not a lot of contrast in there. Those blacks are kept very dark and that gives us enough contrast. So I'm gonna move on to uh, red, green and blue channels. And I'm just gonna put a very slight S curve in these. All right, so that's our tone curves done there's the before and after of just the curves. As you can see, we get a bit more of a darker, bronzier orange. So I'm just gonna desaturate these oranges. For now. And that should make it easier for us to do the rest of our editing. So I'm gonna skip HSL for now and come down to split toning. So to help us get that teal and brown look, I'm gonna put a little bit of teal in the highlights. And in the shadows, I'm gonna put a little bit of a reddish orange. and add in a little bit of sharpening. Cool, we're looking pretty good. And we're just gonna finish it off. Actually, I'll add a bit of grain. Only a little bit. And we're just gonna finish it off with the HSL. So, we're looking for really golden skin tones. So push them slightly towards orange. The yellows, I'm going to keep them pretty warm. And we don't have any greens in here. Uh, moving on to saturation. Going to going to bring down oranges and maybe a tad yellows 
Yellow is going to bring all the way down because she desaturates almost every other colour apart from the skin tones in the image. So and you can see we've got a little bit of teal and blue down here. So we're just going to try and match that up. And over here you can see there's a very, very faint amount of colour still in it. don't really have much purples or magentas but we'll just bring them down as well now luminance quite important still and it, bringing down the luminance is going to really help us get deep colors so with the reds I want them to be very deep so I'm going to try them all the way down there I might brighten the oranges a little and that's gonna just help those skin tones pop a little more a bit more of a shine as you can see there's quite the shine quite a bit of light coming from this left side uh, yellows I think they're kept quite far down or neutral at the start I thought they'd be lifted up quite high because it's quite a bright image but if you look at if you just pick something out of the image and just look at that, say this white rose there. You can see it's maybe left about in the middle there. Greens, I'm going to brighten them up a bit. There's none in here, but I could imagine in an image with them, they would be brought up. Uh, aquas. I'm going to bring it down. And then these blues as you can see this white uh, paper here canvas is very bright and when we move these blues a lot of brightening happens so I'm gonna try them quite bright and I'm just gonna go back and tweak a few things so I think the skin tones are looking a little red so I might shift this slightly towards yellow uh, saturation gonna give it a little more saturation and brighten it up a little and I'm gonna bring up the luminance a bit more just because I thought those reds were looking a little dark and I'm just gonna boost the shadows a bit I think it's a bit dark around the edges and I'm gonna slightly shift the hue for the reds as you can see what that's doing a bit more orange on this end, a bit more red down here, so about there. So I'm just going to leave it about there guys, I'm pretty happy with that, there's probably some small differences, but I think you guys get the point, understand the process a bit more now maybe, and yeah, so comment down below who you guys want to see, but keep it below 50,000 followers on Instagram, and yeah, you can go give her a follow down in the description, give myself a follow, and I will catch you guys in the next one.